Ruto was born in 1966 at Sambato village, we are seeing Gishu County, to Daniel and Sarah Cheruyo. Dr. Ruto, who described himself as the son of a peasant, attended Kamagut Primary School. D.P. Ruto went to Wairang Secondary School in Eldoret and did his A-level at Kapsabet High School in Nandi County. As a university student, Mr. Ruto was a God-fearing Christian who served at one time as the chairman of the University of Nairobi's choir. Mr. Ruto's political journey started in Kano's party politics, where he contested various branch positions. He served as an official in the Secretariat of the Powerful Youth for Kano Lobby Group, popularly known as Waiki 92. In 1997, Mr. Ruto was elected Member of Parliament for Eldoret North constituency on a Kanu ticket. Former President Daniel Moy appointed Mr. Ruto the Home Affairs Assistant Minister in 2002 and in the same year, he was re-elected as MP. In the 2002 general elections, Mr. Ruto was key campaigner for President Uhuru Kenyatta's first presidential bid, but they lost to Mr. Mwaiki back his Rainbow Coalition. Nonetheless, Mr. Ruto remained in Kanu, rising through the ranks to become the party's secretary general in 2005. During the 2005 proposed constitution, Mr. Ruto was in no movement that was victorious in the ensuing referendum. The no movement comprised Mr. Kenyatta, Rail Odinga, Musalia Mudavadi, Joy Nyaga, and Najib Balala. The movement birth, the Orange Democratic Movement, where Mr. Ruto was among the key figures, dubbed the Pentagon. Emboldened by the successful No campaign, ODM emerged as the major opposition party with Kanu and smaller platforms teaming for the 2007 general elections. The results of the 2007 elections were disputed, leading to violence that left over 1,000 people dead and 650,000 people displaced. The International Criminal Court came calling as the post-election violence dust settled, with Mr. Ruto and Mr. Kenyatta named among six individuals, summoned, but the charges were later dropped. Mr. Ruto and Kenyatta teamed up for the 2013 general election in which they emerged victorious under the Jubilee Party. The Jubilee duo promised to tackle ground corruption in the public service sector, create jobs for Kenya's unemployed youth, build stadiums, provide every class one student with laptops, and offer free primary and secondary education. He has today been announced the president-elect of Kenya and his development is on record of the spotlight as Kenyans take stock of what the Jubilee government has accomplished in the six years the party has been in power. Tony Patila Humza, CTV, PM Edition.